Hi everyone, it's Lourdes Galang from ifranchisebusinessideas.com. In today's video, I'll be discussing with you the different ifranchise concepts that we have. So, ito po yung mga iba't ibang franchise business ideas na in-offer po ni ifranchise company. So, first we have the food caravan. Ito po yung mga iba't ibang food court franchises that we have, including the dessert zone. Meron din po tayong barbecue break, coffee spots, sa so mga gusto magtayo ng coffee shop or ng cafe. We also have Pinoy Station. We also have Sisig Cargo. So, and dami po natin food cart concepts na available. And then, we also have the iFuel. Ito naman yung gasoline station. So, kung gusto mong magtayo ng uh, gasoline na han, ito yung klase ng business na naiisip mong itayo. Then, we could also help you out on that. Meron po kaming ganyang franchise package. And then, we also have the Faces and Curves. So, we are the one who's actually offering the franchise package. And kilalang kilala po ang Faces and Curves. As you can see, ito yung mga stars na hinawakan nila, na inaalagaan nila. Ang beauty, kumbaga, if, if this is the kind of franchise that you want to get into, gusto mo magpaganda ng mga tao, then we could actually help you out on that. We have that franchise program available. And also, the salon experts, kung tipong ang, ang trip po naman ay yung mag, mag or uh, nail spa and all that, then we also have that franchise package available through Salon Experts, okay? So, eto po yung mga iba't ibang i-franchise concepts that we have. Mamimili ka na lang dito kung ano bang business ang gusto mong pasukan. Gusto mo ba sa food, uh, sa pagtatayo ba ng gasolinahan, sa pagpapaganda ba, o sa paggugupit ng buhok, or sa pag-aayos ng nails, diba? So, Ikaw lang ang makakasagot niyan. And I will be discussing with you some of the details of this i-franchise concepts that we have. Okay, first of all, syempre, tatanungin mo yung sarili mo. Why i-franchise? Bakit naman ako magkitiwala kay i-franchise when it comes to my needs as an entrepreneur or, or as a business person who's looking to invest into a franchising you know, business? Ba bakit si i-franchise ang pipiliin ko? Well, first of all, syempre... When it comes uh, to the food cart franchises that we have, we have our own commissary kitchen. Meaning to say, since we have our own commissary kitchen, you could be well assured na yung mga food supplies, yung mga product supplies na isusupply namin sa mga food cart franchise na kukuha inyo sa amin, ay talagang uh, safe, quality, and yung mga magpe-prepare din kasi nito are well-trusted, okay? So, iba yung may, may supply talaga coming from a commissary kitchen. I mean, if you will research yung mga restaurants ng mga malalaki ngayon, they have their own commissary kitchen kasi hindi pwedeng nauubusan ng supply. And they also have to make sure na safe yung pagkain na dinideliver sa mga restaurants nila and at the same time, quality, ba? Hindi yung basta-basta ginawa lang or basta-basta isusupply lang sa'yo na hindi mo alam kung quality ba yon or safe ba nakainin ng mga customers mo. Siyempre, ayaw natin na magkaroon ng mga ganong klaseng problem. So, number one yan, ang i-franchise ay merong sariling commissary kitchen when it comes to the supply for all your products pagdating sa mga food cart franchise na kukuhain mo. And also, the commissary kitchen celebrity chefs. As I've said, for you to make sure na quality talaga and safe yung mga product supplies that we will deliver sa mga food cart franchises natin, eh, backed up to ng mga culinary chefs, ng mga celebrity chefs, na may mga pangalan na, you know, they've marked a name in the industry, and obviously, kaya nila nagawa yun, it's because they are trusted, they are well-respected, you know, by people, di ba? So, let's take a look at Chef Nancy Reyes Lumen. Siya yung tinatawag nating adobo queen. And as you can see, ginest na rin siya ni Erwan Yusof sa kanyang vlog. If you have watched that, you could go to YouTube. Makikita niyo yung episodes nila. Madami yan. Um, adobo, lungganisa, may sofrito pa. And then also, lagi siyang nag-guest uh, kasama ng mga celebrity. Yan, si Enrique Hill and um, his mom. And as I've said, she's called the adobo queen. And Kumbaga, siya, siya sought um, after endorser ng MassFlex kung, kung isusearch sa Google, makikita nyo. And she's one of the co-proprietors sa Commissary Kitchen ng ating i-franchise. And she's also a food stylist and an author of books, food, you know, books. 
And then we have Chef Mon Urbano. So, nag-guest na rin siya sa Umagang Kay Ganda. And he's also a trained chef. Co-founder siya ng Monday Chefs. She's, he's also a chef restaurateur. And then, if you are familiar with that restaurant sa Laguna, and then also, as I've said, Commissary Kitchen, he's also taking care of it. And then, book author din siya. Si Chef Day Salonga is also co-founder of Monday Chefs. Chef restaurateur din siya. And then, he's one of the owners of Ted's Restaurant. And if you will search in Facebook, makikita nyo ang daming magagandang reviews sa Ted's Restaurant. Tapos ngayon, um, nag-expand na sila. Meron na rin sila yung Aurora, yung house nila sa Laguna, kinonvert na nila into a uh, restaurant. And they're offering yung native na mga uh, Laguna dishes. So, if you could, you know, visit their restaurant kapag napadaan kayo sa Laguna, then you would definitely know na yung food na sinaserve or na isaserve ng food carts sa iFranchise is really, really quality and talagang masarap. Kasi prepared by, you know, chefs like this, di ba? Hindi yung basta-basta prepare lang ng kung sino-sino. And then he's also a book author and a magazine contributor. Si Chef Joy De La Rosa naman is also a trained chef, associate chef consultant. Uh, consultant siya sa Monday Chefs and then co-proprietor din ng Commissary Kitchen, an executive chef in Rustic Events Place and a food stylish and um, ini-endorse Tupperware Philippines. Chef Jem T is also a trained chef. She's also a chef restaurateur. And then, a chef consultant man, sa Monday Chefs. A multi-awarded chef at international competitions. Si Chef Jel Salonga naman ay ang ating baker and cake artist. Kapatid siya ni Chef Day Salonga. And they're one of the owners of Ted's Restaurant. So, dun sa Ted's Restaurant, siya yung nagpe-prepare ng mga cakes. And she's very famous for the bibingka cheesecake. Hindi ko alam kung natikman niyo na yan. Pero... Very well-known yan. Even if you search it in Google, makikita ninyo. At sabi ko nga sa inyo, if you're able to visit Ted's restaurant, ayun, makikita niyo yung quality ng mga cakes na pinaprepare niya. And, siya lang naman ang nagpe-prepare ng mga cakes at kumbaga sa kanya nang galing yung recipe ng cakes para dun sa coffee spot natin. So, kung may plano ako magtayo ng coffee shop or cafe, perfect na perfect yung combination ng mga cakes niya sa ating coffee and fraps and smoothies na available sa ating coffee spot. So, di ba, hindi ka naman mong problema kung anong cakes or pastries ang i-offer mo para sa iyong coffee shop. So, you might as well consider yung coffee spot franchise program natin. And then, she's also a chef consultant sa Monday Chefs and a multi-awarded baker. So, go ahead, search it in Google itong mga celebrity chefs natin na to for you to be well assured na yung mga chefs natin who own sa commissary kitchen yung nagpe-prepare ng mga food, quality food that um, we are, that we will be serving sa mga food carts natin ay talaga mapagkakatiwalaan mo. So, you could, you know, you could do your own research. And then, we also have uh, several i-franchise offices. We have the main office sa Green Hill San Juan. And then, we have the Bacolod office. We also have the Davao office and Cebu office. So, sa mga taga Cebu, taga Davao, Bacolod, and obviously, dito sa Luzon, sa main office, at least, you have an office to go to para makita nyo mismo yung facilities. Yung mga food cards na meron tayo where you can also attend your franchise seminar, your trainings, you know, and all the business support that you will need from a franchising company, di ba? Kung baga, visible siya. And, of course, we already have over 100 branches nationwide. Meaning to say, we already have more than 100 franchises. So, ibig sabihin lang po nun, marami na po nagtiwala sa amin that we could actually serve you and give you, you know, the franchising business that you're looking for and the opportunity in getting into the franchising business, okay? And not only that, Okay, I am going to show you some of the openings that we've had with some mga iba't ibang food cart franchises and you know franchise concepts that we have. So, ito an example of our opening for the dessert zone. Ayan, as you can see, pinipilahan talaga ng mga tao yung ating dessert zone. Kasi lahat naman yata tayo parang 
gusto ng dessert after kumain. Or most of us, ganun. And, di ba, pag nasa mall ka, lalo na yung mga bata pag namamasyal, pag nakita ng cotton candy. So, ayan, mabentang-mabenta ang dessert zone sa mga malls, di ba? Pinipilahan po talaga siya. So, pag nilagay mo pa siya lalo sa food court, mas lalo siyang pipilahan ng mga tao. So, as, as you can see, Uh, we are very supportive when it comes to opening your uh, food cart franchise or any franchise concepts that you will open with us. We will be with you, you know, all the way. Hindi yung pagka-franchise mo, pagka-bayad mo, pababayad ka na namin. Of course, we will, be, we will be giving you all the business support that you will need kasi we want you to be successful because your success will also be the company's success. So, di ba, nakakatuwa yung mga bata tumuntuwa sa cotton candy. I also have three kids and yung, lalo na yung pinakabunso ko, yun talaga, ako, pag nakakita ng cotton candy sa mall, mapipilitan at mapipilitan ka talagang bilhan. Ayan. So, this is 8 Box Cafe. Ang owner nito ay yung mismo municipal master franchisee sa Davao. So, again, pag naging municipal master franchisee ka, di ba, you'll have seven food cars that you can choose from. And, One of the concept na pinili nila ay yung coffee spot. So, ayan, nakapagpatayo sila ng coffee shop nila using our coffee spot. And then, we also have the My Cafe 108 sa Mabini Street, San Jose, Concepcion, Tarlac. So, coffee shop din talaga yung uh, tinayo nila using our coffee spot uh, franchise. So, malamang coffee island ito. And then, we also have a coffee spot that opened at JS Gaisano Grand City Mall in Davao. So, pwede rin na ilagay mo sa mall yung iyong coffee shop or yung cafe. And then, we have the Randall's Cafe na nag-open noong March 10, 2019. But, diba, mapabata, mapamillennial, mapagen X, gen Y, mapamatanda, talagang tumatambay sa cafe. And, share ko lang yung mga feedback sa Randall's Cafe na nakakatuwa Kapag ikaw siguro yung may-ari ng, ng coffee shop, tapos ganito yung mga marireceive mong feedback, sobrang matutuwa ka, ba diba, na yung tinayo mong coffee shop, eh, kumbaga natutuwa din yung mga customers mo. So, it's a must-try cafe in Kalumpit, Bulacan. Yung food was great. Tapos, ayan, I really love the salted caramel frap and Oreo cheesecake. So, ba diba, parang natuwa sila doon sa frap na, syempre, from coffee spot. And then, yan, ang sarap ng food, yung mga fraps, hot and cold coffee. Di ba nakakatuwa pag nakaka-receive ka ng mga ganyang feedback? Kaya, ma maiisip mo talaga na parang magtayo rin ng sarili mong coffee shop or cafe, di ba? So, it, it's really a good thing na pagandahin mo yung coffee shop mo, yung ambience, and then yung staff mo well-trained. And, yung, yung food na isa-serve mo, plus yung mga fraps and coffee na isa-serve mo talaga ay magiging patok yung talagang magugustuhan ng mga customers mo. So, it, it's really nice to this, to see this kind of feedbacks. So, ayan si Randall's Cafe. Ang ganda naman talaga ng coffee shop nila, ba diba? Talagang, I mean, I'm sure, kung ikaw magiging customer nila, parang ulit-ulitin mong pumunta dyan. So, ayan yung mascot natin ng coffee spot. Yeah. So, another example of a coffee shop na nag-open sa Sangandaan uh, QC. So, And, and sarap kasi talaga tumambay sa coffee spot with your friends, makipagkwentuhan, share the laughter, stories. Ayan, kahit mga bata, ba? Diba? So, magkakaroon ka ng idea ngayon dito kung anong, anong klaseng setup ang pwede mong gawin sa coffee shop or cafe na gusto mong itayo. Pwede rin kayo mag-date sa coffee shop, ba? Diba? Now, these are the food cards that we have. Okay, so ito yung dessert zone and ito yung menu. Meron tayong cotton candy burrito na very famous sa Las Vegas na dinala ngayon natin dito sa Pilipinas. Okay, and meron din tayong ice cream waffle taco na available. At syempre, iba't ibang flavors ng ating cotton candy. And then we also have the coffee spot at yung coffee spot island na pwede mong gamitin if you want to put up a coffee shop or a cafe talaga. Then um, you could consider uh, franchising a coffee spot island. We also have the shawarma stop. Kung mahilig ka sa shawarma, like ako, mahilig talaga ako sa shawarma. Napapansin ko lang kapag nasa mall din ako, laging pinipilahan ang mga food stalls ng shawarma or food cart na shawarma. Kasi ano siya eh, kung nakakabusog, tapos sobrang 
sobrang sarap niya dahil uh, ang dami mo natitikman, ba? Diba? So, pinipilahan talaga siya. Napansin ka talaga, I don't know, ikaw, pag pumunta ka ng mall, kung, kung nag-iisip ka ng food cart na i-franchise mo, puntahan ng mall, tignan mo doon kung alin yung mga pinipilahan. Magkakaroon ka ng idea kung ano yung, ano yung magandang i-franchise. Eto, eto talaga, lagi ko nakikita yung shawarma, kahit anong, anong brand pa yan or uh, food cart pa yan, basta nakikita ko talaga laging pinipilahan ng shawarma. So, that's one of our uh, food cart concept, shawarma stop. We also have the juice station. Mabenta rin to, di ba? Siyempre, lahat naman ng tao pag napagod na sa mall or napagod sa mall kakalakad, maghahanap yan ng maiinom. And we have what we call the juice station. Nag-offer tayo dito ng kakaibang mga juice. Like yung ampalaya, mango juice, lemon sili juice, kamote tops, at gumamela juice. O, ba? Diba? At least kakaiba siya from other juices na ino-offer. Kasi, um, pag pupunta ka ng mall or pag may nakita kang, you know, juice stand dyan, normal na yung makita mo yung, ano eh, yung mga fruits, ba? Diba? Uh, parang pag nakita mo yung juice station natin, tapos ampalaya mango, Siyempre, bago yon sa paningin ng mga tao, ba diba? Parang magkakaroon sila ng curiosity. And yun yung maganda sa juice station. Pampatawid uhaw, but at the same time, kakaiba yung ibibigay sa na ano na juice. And may mga nut- nutritional value yan, ha? Tapos natural juice pa. So, kung ikaw, consider ka ng ifa-franchise mo, maganda to for uni- uniqueness, pang-create ng curiosity din. Tapos we also have the pearl shakes available. Meron tayong melon, mango, buko, pandan, and taro. Kasi yun lang naman talaga yung parang pinakapaborito ng mga tao na in-order, ba? Diba? We also have the barbecue break. Sino ba ang hindi natataka pag nakaamoy ng barbecue? ba? Diba? Pag nilagay mo yan sa mall or kahit sa labas pa yan, ang dami nagbibenta ng barbecue sa labas, ba? Diba? So, pag naamoy mo yan, parang wow, kahit minsan di mo naiisip na kumain ng barbecue, mapapakain ka kapag naamoy mo. Iba yun eh, iba yung sense of smell. Parang bibigyan ka tuloy niya ng, ano, ng instruction na parang, oy, kumain ka ng barbecue. And as you can see sa minute natin sa barbecue break, meron na tayong chicken inasal at saka pork liempo along with a chicken barbecue or pork barbecue with rice. Tapos may kasama pang kimchara, di ba? From barbecue. And, ang nag-prepare nito, ang, ang gumawa ng timpla nito ay si Chef Nancy Reyes Lumen. Kung naaalala nyo kanina, sa Dennis Casco, siya yung adobo queen natin. So, just imagine, di ba? Kung kilala siya sa adobo queen, eh lahat tayo gusto-gusto natin ng adobo yung timpla nun. O, so, syempre yung timpla nito, yung timpla sa barbecue, sa chicken and nasal, at saka sa pork liempo, just, naku, kung naiimagine mo lang yung, yung lasa nito. So, pag may nakita kayong barbecue break, try nyo. Or, much better, kung interesado ka sa ganitong klaseng food cart business, set an appointment with us at matitikman mo yung barbecue break na yan. Yung barbecue na si Miss Nancy Reyes Lumen mismo ang nag nag nagtimpla, ang talagang kumbaga dyan nag-originate, ba? Diba? So, I'm sure natatakam na kayo kasi ako din habang din didiscuss ko to, parang nagugutom na rin ako, parang gusto kong kumain tuloy ng inasal at ano, pork barbecue, ba? Diba? Nakakagutom. So, just imagine yung mga customers ninyo, ba? Diba, pag naamoy pa lang habang ginigrill nyo yung mga barbecue chicken inasal at pork liempo na yan. Okay, another one is noodle junction. Eh, di ba mahilig tayo sa noodles, lalo na pag nilagyan ng toppings na shomai. So, eto. Kung eto yung klase ng food court business na gusto mo, meron tayong Asian noodles with shomai toppings. So, pwede nilang gawing Japanese style, Hong Kong style, Thailand style, or Pinoy style. ba? Diba? So, pwede mo rin i-consider yan as a food court business. And then... Siyempre yung tusok-tusok, okay? What we, we, we have what we call the one-way ball. Siyempre mas pinasosyal, di ba? Kasi ito yung pwede mo ilagay sa mga balls, okay? Na tusok-tusok. So we have chicken balls, squid balls, shrimp balls, salmon balls, veggie nuggets, at kikyam. Ako ang paborito ko dito yung kikyam, squid balls, tsaka chicken balls, di ba? So, pag nakakita tayo ng ganyan sa mall... Diba, talagang natatakam ka din na bumili at ano, magsaw-saw-saw-saw, ba diba? So, if you're considering a business din na ganito, we also have that available. And then, we have the Pinoy Station, okay? 
Ayan, si Miss Nancy Reyes Lumen ng ating Adobo Queen at Co-Proprietor of Commissary Kitchen. Pinoy Station kasi ito yung nag-offer ng mga favorite Pinoy comfort foods natin. Kare-kare, beef mechado, beef kadereta, ang sarap ulam sa kanin, di ba? Pork dinuguan, pork binagoongan, pork adobo, tapos meron pang lain. Tapos, chicken na fritada, chicken adobo, garlic chicken. Oh my! Pag, ko, parang pag, pag sinasabi mo pa lang yung mga pangalan ng mga pagkain na to, sobrang nagugutom ka na at natatakam ka na talaga. So, if, if you're into, you know, thinking of creating a restaurant or coming up with a restaurant, my gosh, yung Pinoy Station, para ka nang may sariling restaurant nito, Pinoy Restaurant na nag-offer ng mga ganitong food. At prepared by Chef Nancy Reyes Lumen siya. Siya yung, um, kumbaga, nag-create na itong mga menu na to. And at the same time, you could be well assured na yung quality, yung sarap na to talagang nandun pag in-offer mo sa mga customers mo. So, kung nagugutom na kayo, mag-set na kayo ng appointment with us. You will have free food tasting. Matitikman mo yung mga yan. At saka ka mag-decide if you really want to go ahead and put up a Pinoy Station ano, franchise business. Okay? We also have potato humps. Diba? Pag nasa mall tayo, feeling ko hindi kami lumalabas sa mall na hindi kami bumibili ng fries or ng, ng potato fries dyan. Diba? Lalo na sa uh, famous na um, in-order na natin ng fries. Pero, pwede ka nang makapag-franchise at makapag-offer ng kasing sarap nun with potato humps. ba? Diba? Kung talagang gusto mong mag-business or mag-franchise, pumunta ka talaga sa mall. Makikita mo lahat ng mga food carts na pinipilahan lagi ng bata, matanda, ba? Diba? Kung baga yun, lagi talaga nalang kinakain pag nasa mall sila at in-order nila na food cart. So, with potato humps, makikita nyo naman yung difference sa pricing. And if you're gonna be able to offer this, minsan nga kahit naman wala naman name yung, yung food cart, diba? Basta fries, o order at o order talaga. Lalo na pag may kasama kang bata. Eh, kasi kahit ako din, umu-order din talaga ako nyan. So, maganda rin siyang concept yung potato humps. We also have the sisig cargo. Nung nauso ang sisig, Grabe, pag nakikita mo pala na tinatadtad na yung sisig, nagugutom ka na eh. Gusto mo na talagang ikain sa kanin, ba? Diba? So, we also have that concept, sisig cargo. Itsura pala talaga ng sisig, nakakagutom na. Lalo na yung may, may toppings na egg, tas ihahalo mo, tas yung masarap na sauce. Wow, talaga. So, we also have that kind of food cart concept, sisig cargo. Now, we're also offering the iFuel, the gasoline station franchise business. So, eto naman, we have different kinds of packages. So, yung bulilit package natin, okay, and we're offering it for 5 million pesos. Endorser po natin dito is si EJ Falcon. So, pag nag-open ka ng iFuel gasoline uh, franchise nyo, si EJ Falcon mismo yung makakasama niya sa opening, ba? Diba? Kasi he's our endorser. So, we have different iFuel packages, meron tayong tinatag na iFuel Bulilit, which is yung 5 million nga. We also have the 2-pump gas station for 7 million. And then we also have the 3-pump gas station, ito yung 10 million. So may ongoing promos po tayo ngayon para sa iFuel. Kung interesado kayo na kumuha ng iFuel franchise package, meron po tayong 3 free na food cart, okay? For a limited period of time only. And up until May 31 na lang po. May 31, 2019 na lang po. So, this is for 5 million only. May kasama ng 3 na food cart. You can save up to 1 million 50,000 pesos. Okay? So, just imagine. May will business ka na. Tapos, meron ka pang 3 na food cart. ba? Eh, ang tatlong food cart na tig 350,000, that's a total of 1,050,000 pesos. So, just imagine, million ang masisave mo. Isang million din ang masisave mo. Tapos, magkakaroon ka pa ng dalawang negosyo. Meron ka ng iFuel business, may gasoline business ka na, and at the same time, may food cart business ka pa. So, if I were you, grab it. Grab this ongoing promo. 
So, eto po yung iFuel Perspective plus yung Food Caravan. Kapag nakuha mo yung promo na tatlong food card. So, pwede mong ilagay yan mismo dun sa iFuel Station mo, di ba? Pag nagpaga sa mga tao, ano pag ginagawa ng mga yan? Minsan habang nag-aantay or minsan pupunta dyan para kumain. Lalo na pag pupunta ng expressway or, di ba, yung galing ka sa probinsya, mahabang road trip, di ba? magpapagas ka, and at the same time, kakain ka na rin doon. So, magandang combination talaga yan. So, if I were you, grab the promo that we have. Another ongoing promo that we have is the Super Duo Business Package. Ito yung magkakaroon ka ng dessert zone, na regular uh, package, and coffee spot, na regular package din. Now, pag pinag-combine mo itong dalawang to, ang total nitong package na to is 730,000 pesos. But, with the Super Duo Business Package, hindi na siya 730,000 pesos. 650,000 pesos na lang po. So, you will save 80,000 pesos. Imaginein mo kung magkano yung savings mo. Pwede mo nang ipandagdag yan sa mga overhead expenses na gagasusin mo pa in, in, in setting up your, you know, your coffee spot or your cafe or coffee shop or in putting up your dessert zone food cart. ba diba? So, Grab this ongoing promo kasi for a limited period of time lang po ito. Um, might as well set us an appointment uh, with us today for you to know if this still if this promo still exists. And you know, if you can grab it, grab it while you can. Okay, so napaka, napakagandang promo po yan right now. Now, we also have our Municipal Master Franchise Package. I have a separate video discussing the details for the Municipal Master Franchise and why you should consider to be one. So, i bibigay ko lang po yung benefits, a rundown of the benefits of being a Municipal Master Franchise. So, pag naging Municipal Master Franchise po kayo, you will have seven food carts and then you will have the exclusive distribution for the area of your coverage. So, kapag napili mo bako or city, para maging Municipal Master Franchise, ikaw po yung magiging exclusive distributor ng lahat ng mga product supply dun sa mga kukuha ng food cart franchise dun sa Bacoor City. Meaning to say, sa'yo sila kukuha ng orders nila. Ikaw magdidistribute. So, you will get 8% to 10% marked up in consumable product supply to the franchisee. So, may kikitain ka po dun. Siyempre, order sila sa'yo, meron kang patong dun, di ba? Parang, kasi ko na yung distributor eh, imbis na kukuha sila direkta kay iFranchise, sa'yo na sila kukuha as the Municipal Master Franchise. And kikita ka ng 8% to 10% markup dun sa mga orderin nila na product supply sa'yo. And then a total of 40% to 45% na average profit margin para naman dun sa 7 food carts na pagmamayari mo kapag inoperate mo siya. Okay, so sa mga uh, food cart franchises, 30 to 35% ang average profit margin nila sa regular uh, food cart packages. Pero ikaw, as a municipal master franchise, may dagdag. Kasi nga, di ba may markup ka pa dun sa pagsusupply. So, magiging 40 to 45% yung markup mo dun sa sarili mong mga food carts. And then, you will get 3% franchise fee rebates income from the franchise package after freebies amount. Okay, so if you're interested to become a Municipal Master Franchise, kung meron kang munisipyo na naisip mo na gusto mong maging Master Franchise doon, I suggest that you watch the Municipal Master Franchise package video that I created para mas lalo mong maintindihan yung benefits, how much you could, you know, potentially earn as a Municipal Master Franchisee, and all the other details on how to become a Municipal Master Franchise. Okay? Now, If you're wondering how much can you really earn kung magpa-franchise ka ng food cart or ng iFuel or sa Faces and Curves or pag naging Municipal Master Franchise ka, then this one will show you yung potential income na pwede mong kitain sa iba't ibang iFranchise concepts na yun. Kasi syempre, bottom line, every time that we're gonna enter into a business or we're going to franchise, ang gusto nating malaman, magkano ba yung potential na income? Magkano talaga yung pwede kong kitain dyan? So, I'll give you an example ng potential income. Let's say, for example, sa iFuel, okay, para sa diesel, ang markup natin dito is 3 pesos per liter. So, say, for example, lang in a month, nakakapagbenta ka ng 100 liters ng diesel. 
So, it times natin yan sa 3 pesos to mark up. Then, that's 3,000 pesos. And then, kung sa gas naman ay 100 liters din ang nabibenta mo. Tapos, ang markup natin dito is 6 pesos. Then, that's 6,000 pesos. Okay. So, that's 9,000. So, that's 9,000 pesos in a day na profit, di ba? So, kung ang gasoline station mo, I feel, well, uh, gasoline station mo ay nag operate for 30 days. So, 9,000 times 30 days. So, may potential gross profit ka na 270,000 pesos. So, gross profit kasi hindi pa natin dito nalilis yung overhead expenses na kailangan mo syempre yung gasosin when you're running or operating a gasoline uh, station, di ba? So, kasama dyan yung uh, rental sa property kung hindi mo owned yung property na pinagtayuan ng yung iFuel gas station and yung bayad sa mga staff mo, sa mga gasoline boys and then yung water, electricity. Kumbaga, lahat ng monthly overhead expenses that you will have to spend in running your iFuel business. So, eto yung sample computation lang naman ng pwede mong maging gross profit per month, okay? And uh, again, pwede mas malaki pa dyan, depende sa magiging takbo ng iyong business, okay? But this is how you will compete for your earnings kapag kinonsider mo ang iFuel gasoline business. And then, sa municipal master franchise naman, okay, we have almost three ways of how you will earn as a municipal master franchisee. So, unang-una sa product supply sa mga franchisees. So, kung may 10 franchises sa munisipyo or sa municipal area na napili mo like Baco or City, tapos lahat ng franchises na yun umorder sa'yo ng tig si 6,000 pesos para sa kanilang product supply. So, all in all, nakaka-60,000 pesos na order sila sa'yo. Sa 60,000 pesos na yun, kukuhain natin yung 10% na patong or markup price mo sa sinusupply mo sa kanila. So, may kikitain ka na 6,000 pesos per day. And, if nag operate sila 30 days and every day sila nag-order sa'yo ng kanilang product supplies, then you will earn a total of 180,000 pesos na profit yung patong mo sa kanila doon sa mga products na sinusupply mo for their food cart franchise, okay? So, that's the first way how you can earn as a municipal master franchisee. Second is through your own food cart. Kasi, di ba, magkakaroon ka ng sarili mong food cart, seven food carts. So, let's say, for example, isa sa food cart na napili mo ay coffee spot. Now, with coffee spot, nag average ka ng 6,000, average sales mo yan per day. Tapos, ang markup price natin dito is 80% since municipal master franchise ka. Okay, so, 4,800 pesos ang profit mo per day. And nag operate ka ng 30 days dun sa coffee spot uh, food cart mo. So, you have a potential earning of 144,000 pesos na gross profit per month. Again, gross profit ito from your own food cart kasi kailangan invest pa natin dito yung monthly overhead expenses like the rental, water, electricity, and payment for your staff, ba? But this is a sample computation of your potential gross profit if you are operating a coffee spot food cart bilang isang municipal master franchisee. And then, you will also earn from the 3% franchise rebates. And how, how is it computed? Let's say, for example, sa munisipyo mo or sa municipal area na napili mo like Baco or merong isa doon na, na kumuha ng food cart franchise amounting to 350,000 pesos. Okay, so yung 3% na franchise rebates mo dyan would amount to 10,500 pesos. And then, ililess natin yung 10% tax since legal tayo, legit tayo na company. Okay, ang total franchise rebate na makukuha mo would be 9,450 pesos dahil lang sa may kumuha ng food cart franchise within your municipal area. And this could be a positive income kasi pwede namang hindi ikaw ang nag-refer, hindi ikaw ang nag-close sa tao na yun para kumuha ng food cart franchise. Let's say, ginalingan ni i-franchise talaga ang pagmamarket ng mga food cart uh, concepts natin at maraming kumukuha. And ang gagaling ng mga franchise brokers natin, kaya dumadami ang franchise na kumukuha sa iyong municipal area. Then, you know, every time na may kukuha dyan, you will get 9,450 pesos. And 350,000 na food cart lang yan. Paano kung kumuha sila ng coffee spot ay na 650,000 or 
ng desert zone is 680,000, pwede pang lumaki, ba? Diba? So, that's another passive income that you could earn as a municipal master franchisee. So, if I were you, watch the video that I created para mas lalo mong ma-appreciate kung bakit mas pipiliin mo at mas gugustuhin mo na mag-municipal master franchisee, lalong-lalo na ngayon na nagsisimula pa lang din talaga ang air franchise. Mas mabuting nakapwesto ka na. Now, let's take a look at the sample computation of earnings naman pag kumuha ka ng desert zone island. So, let's say for example, nag-average ng 6,000 ang sales mo per day and then ang markup price natin sa desert zone is 68%. So, meron kang profit na 4,080 pesos per day and nag-ooperate ka ng 30 days. So, you will have a gross profit of 122,400 pesos. Again, gross profit lang ito per month kasi hindi pa natin binabawas yung monthly overhead expenses mo for rent, water, electricity, and payment for your staff, and other miscellaneous expenses that you will have. Okay, so ito, sample computation lang ng pwede mong maging gross profit based on the markup price. Okay, so this is for Desert Zone Island. Kung mapapansin nyo, iba't iba po yung markup price natin, depende kung anong food cart concept yan. Like sa coffee spot, iba po yung markup price doon, iba rin ang markup price kapag municipal master franchise ka, and sa regular food cart, iba din po. Okay, so sa regular food cart naman, ito yung sa shawarma, barbecue, sisig, Pinoy Station, Noodle Junction, Juice Station, tsaka one-way balls. So kung nag-average ka ng 6,000 sales per day, tapos ang markup po natin sa regular uh, food cart is 30 to 35%. So for this example, we're using 35%. Okay, so you will have a profit of 2,100 pesos per day. At kung nag-operate ka ng 30 days, Okay, so you will have a gross profit of 63,000 pesos per month. Again, gross profit pa rin po kasi hindi pa nabawas dyan yung monthly overhead expenses. Okay? So now, syempre, kanina ko pa nababanggit. Gross profit lang yan, gross profit lang yan. So kapag kinonsider na po natin yung monthly overhead expenses, dun po natin makukuha yung net profit natin per month. At doon lang din po natin compute yung return on our investment kung, il kung gano'ng katagal aabutin, ba diba? So, dito sa ating example, sa, dito sa projection po natin ng iyong net profit, nilagay ko po dito yung low sales, medium sales, saka high sales. Para alam mo, kapag mababa yung benta, magkano yung possible uh, net profit mo pag medium, average, at saka pag sobrang taas naman ng sales mo, magkano yung potential na net profit. So, para sa low, okay, ang projected daily sales natin ay 6,000. Sa medium, 8,000. And then sa high, 10,000 pesos. So, your operating days are 30 days. And then, monthly gross sales natin would be 180,000 pesos for low. And then, 240,000 for medium. And then, 300,000 pesos for high. So, ang average margin na gagamitin natin, okay, is 35% para sa regular food cart po ito. Ang monthly gross profit mo would be 63,000 for low and then for medium, 84,000 and then for high, 105,000 pesos. Okay, so nanggaling po yan dun sa average margin ha. Now, ilalas po natin ngayon yung rental. Sabi na natin 15,000 pesos ang rent mo. And then, electricity, 6,000 pesos. Water is at 500. And then, labor, 10,500 pesos. Kasi pwede naman isang staff lang ang yung i-assign doon sa food cart. And then, miscellaneous would be 4,000 pesos. So, ang monthly overhead mo doon sa isang food cart is 36,000 pesos. Pag na-less po natin yan doon sa monthly gross profit, doon po makukuha yung monthly net profit. So, para sa low, 27,000 pesos. Sa medium naman, 48,000 pesos. And then, sa high, 69,000 pesos. Ngayon, dito mo madedetermine. Since alam mo na yung monthly net profit, bawas na yung overhead expenses mo every month, eto na talaga yung masasabi mong pwede mong itabi. Pwede mong kuhain na para sa'yo. So, let's take a look at the return on your investment. Kung naglabas ka ng 350,000 pesos uh, sa low sales in 12 to 13 months, makukuha mo or mababalik na sa'yo yung 350,000 pesos na nilabas mo. Okay? Pag sa medium naman, 7 to 8 months para mabalik sa'yo yung 350,000. And then, pag sobrang taas at pumapalo talaga ng 10,000 a day ang sales mo, in 5 to 6 months lang, you will get the return on your investment na 350,000 pesos. So, again, this is just an example 
of a projection ng possible na pwede mong kitain kapag nag food cart business ka, yung regular food cart natin with a 35% margin. So, depende pa rin yan sa magiging takbo ng negosyo mo, kung ano mga uh, promotions uh, kung ano mga promotions din ang gagawin mo or kung ano din yung mga uh, marketing strategy. And of course, iFranchise will always help you and give you the support that you will need for your business. Okay? So, let's take a look at the potential net income that you could earn if you go for the dessert zone package. Kasi, di ba, sabi ko nga, iba't iba yung markup po natin, depende ko anong package ang kukain mo, kung dessert zone, coffee, or yung regular food cards natin. So, let's say for example, the same data that we have, sa low, meron tayong 6,000 na projected daily sales, and then sa medium, 8,000, sa high, 10,000 pesos, you're operating for 30 days, ito yung monthly gross sales mo, but since we're going to use dessert zone, ang gagamitin natin na average margin is 68%. Kasi yan yung markup para sa dessert zone package. So ang monthly gross profit mo for low would be 122,400, 163,200 for medium, and then 204,000 for high. So nakikita nyo yung difference. Depende sa markup talaga yan. So this would also give you an idea kung ano ba yung magandang food cart concept na, na papasukin mo kasi mas magbibigay sa yun na mas malaking markup or mas malaking potential na net profit, di ba? So, pag inalas na natin dito yung rental expenses and yung electricity, pati yung water, pati yung labor, kasi pwede isang staff din mo lang naman talaga mag-operate ng desert zone food cart mo. Okay, and then yung miscellaneous. Now, your monthly overhead is 36,000 pesos. So, a monthly net profit mo for low is 86,400. And then, for medium is 127,200 pesos. Sa high naman is 168,000 pesos. Now, if you've invested 380,000, yung regular na desert zone, ito yung magiging return on investment. Sa low, in 4 to 5 months pa lang, babalik na yung 380,000 mo. Sa medium naman, 3 to 4 months. And then, sa high naman, 2 to 3 months. So, kung ikaw compare mo sa regular food cart, mas mabilis, ba yung return on investment. Kasi nga, depende yan sa markup, eh. Dun sa average margin na mag magbabalik sa yun ng kita, yung profit talaga. And at the same time, um, yung mga expenses that would uh, go along with it. So, as I've said, this is again an example of a projection of you know, the potential net profit that you could earn every month and the, yung potential na months kung ilan, kung ilan ba talagang buwan na, na babalik yung nilabas mo na investment. Okay, so eto ang kinonsider natin dito na return on the investment is yung nilabas mo na 380,000 pambayad dun sa dessert zone regular package natin. Now, let's take a look naman at the profitability or the potential net income that you could earn if you decide to put up a coffee shop. Kasi I'm sure you're excited to know pag nagtayo ba ako ng coffee shop or ng cafe, magkano ba, magkano ba yung pwede kong kitain dito or I mean, what is the potential return? What will be the potential return on, on my investment? Okay? So given the same data that we have for low, medium, and high sales and the number of operating days mo, 30 days pa rin, monthly gross sales, the same pa din. Pero this time around, we're going to use the uh, average margin for coffee spot, which is 70%. So, a monthly gross profit mo for low would be 126,000. Medium would be 168,000. And then, for high would be 210,000 pesos. And then, ilas natin. Since coffee shop talaga yung tinayo mo, syempre yung rental expenses would be more expensive kasi pwedeng kumuha ka talaga ng pesto. Malaking pesto to, ba? Hindi lang siya yung... Um, kasing liit na mga um, nasa mall na nilalagay mo na food cart. So, let's say for example, rental expenses would be 20,000. Electricity, 8,000 kasi mas malaki yung area na mag-consume ng electricity. Then, water is 800 pesos. Labor, 30,000 kasi pwedeng 2 to 3 staff ang in-employ mo para mag-operate sa coffee shop. And then, miscellaneous would be 4,000 pesos. So, monthly overhead mo dun sa coffee shop mo would be 62,800 pesos. So, ang monthly net profit kapag dinadak natin yan sa monthly gross profit mo would be 63,200 pesos for low 
And then, 105,200 pesos for medium. And then, 147,200 pesos for high. So, ang return on your investment, kung naglabas ka ng 650,000 pesos para dun sa coffee island design or para sa coffee shop or cafe na tinayo mo, pag sa low, 10 to 11 months pa lang. Balik na sa yung 650,000. Sa medium naman, 6 to 7 months. And then, sa high, 4 to 5 months. Okay? So, again, it's just a projection, okay, of the potential net profit and return on investment that you can have kung may isipan mong mag-franchise sa amin ng coffee spot island at gawin mong coffee shop to or i-convert ito sa cafe. And yung sales, depende pa rin yan. Pwede kang mag-offer ng, ng sarili mong menu para mas mapataas pa yung sales, mag paano ka ng delivery, diba? So, maraming strategies na pwedeng gawin. And this is just a projection. And as much as possible, we are presenting it to you in a conservative way. Kasi, in accounting, mas maganda talaga that you do the conservative approach. Para mabigla ka na lang or magulat ka na lang kapag nakita mo yung sales mo, tapos yung net income mo, wow, yung net profit mo, tapos yung return on investment mo, more than you expected, diba? So, eto po yung mga sample uh, computation sample projection po natin na kasama na yung pag, pagbawas natin ng mga monthly overhead expenses. So, you can see the net profit and the potential return on your investment. So, I'm sure ngayon super excited ka na na mag-franchise. Malamang nakapili ka na gusto mong mag-i-fuel para makuha mo yung promo na tatlong free food cart or May naisip ka ng munisipyo kung saan gusto mo maging municipal master franchise or may naisip ka ng mall or lugar na pwede mong pagtayuan ng coffee shop mo. So, ang dami mo na naiisip ngayon at excited ka na malaman, paano ka ba makakapag-franchise with iFranchise? So, eto, first of all, you have to fill up a franchise application form. Submit the initial requirements like the letter of intent to franchise indicating your preferred location. So, kung sa municipal master franchise, mamili ka ng munisipyo kung saan mo gusto maging master franchise and we'll check kung available pa yung munisipyo na yan. And then, 2 by 2 picture, colored and updated. 2 pieces, government-issued valid ID. Photocopy of it. And then, pay the franchise fee and sign the franchise agreement. Okay? So, eto lang po yung three easy steps for you to be able to franchise. Okay? Now, when it comes naman doon sa iFuel, syempre meron tayong ibang steps na sinusunod doon. Okay, sa iFuel naman po, unang-una yung letter of intent and application form. After po nun, location, kung saan mo balak, itayo yung iFuel gasoline station mo. And then you have to pay 10% initial uh, payment dun sa iFuel package natin. And then, ocular inspection dun sa property or location na napili mo. Kasi syempre, kailangan natin i-check, hindi basa-basa may napili ko or kahit sarili mong property yan, we have to check if it's feasible na magtayo ng iFuel na gas station doon or it's possible for us to construct. And then yun, evaluation. And then after that, submission of initial requirements. Siyempre, bibigay namin yun sa'yo. And then after that, yung 40% ulit na down payment for the iFuel franchise fee. Contract signing, briefing, i-discuss sa'yo lahat yan. And then we'll move to step B, wherein yung pag-acquire ng permits and licenses. And then after that, yung 50% full payment plus construction of your iFuel gasoline station. And then after that, yung marketing plan, yung business and pump attendant training. Siyempre, kailangan i-train yung magiging pump attendants dun sa iFuel gasoline station mo. And then after that, kapag okay na lahat, siyempre yung turnover at yung purchase order ng mga um, equipments, mga materials, supplies that you will need for your iFuel gasoline station. And then, the grand opening. As I've mentioned, kasama mo si EJ Falcon sa grand opening ng iyong iFuel gas station kasi siya yung endorser natin. So, ito po yung step-by-step step natin sa pagpa-franchise ng iFuel gasoline station. So, remember, okay, with iFranchise, we have no royalty fee, no setup fee, no cash band and no hidden charges. Mabuti na yung maliwanag at alam mo kung ano yung franchise na pinapasukan mo. So, if I were you, set an appointment with us today. Kasi baka may makakuha na ng munisipyo na inaay mo para maging master franchisee or baka naman may makakuha na ng location ko sa mga ita yung iFuel franchise business mo or even sa Faces and Curves or 
Baka may makakuha na sa peso sa mall na tinitingnan mo para itayo yung food cart na yan, di ba? Or baka nag-aantay na yung coffee shop or cafe na gusto mong itayo. So, set an appointment with us today for you to have free food tasting and free franchise seminar. So, maganda ma- matikman mo yung mga food na meron tayo sa mga food cart concept at ikaw mismo makapag-judge kung may quality ba, masarap ba siya, at alam mo yun, mabibenta ba siya ng bonggam-bongga, di ba? And then second, we'll give you free crew training and business support. And third, of course, we'll help you with the location assistance. Kasi your success is also our success. So, syempre, we will help you with all that you need in order for you to become successful with your franchise with us. Kaya, magmadali ka na. Contactin mo na kami kagad. Text us, SMS, Viber us through our globe number 0917-9837951. Or through our smart number, 0921-708-1882. Follow us on our Facebook page at Franchising Business Ideas. Send us an email at ifranchise.inquit.gmail.com or visit our website, www.ifranchisebusinessideas.com para maging updated ka, makakuha ka pa ng mas maraming information, details. If you want to know more about iFranchise, go visit our website. So again, this is Lourdes Galang from ifranchisebusinessideas.com and I hope... You got interested with some of the franchise concepts that I've discussed with you. And I hope that you've learned something in getting into a franchise business or thinking of, you know, what franchise business idea you should get into. So I hope that I'll see you on my next video. And do contact us if you want to get your franchising business started. Okay? Thank you. Bye!